This is David Filipov, Moscow Bureau Chief of the Washington Post. Recently, I took a trip to Sochi to see how this city of 500,000 people is coming along in President Putin's plan to make it a year-round resort. This is Sochi's Central Street, located on Flag Square, which is the Central Square, and connects the train station with the port down there. In Sochi, they say this is one of the most beautiful streets in the world. Sochi's on track to see 6.5 million visitors in 2017. This wasn't always the case. The subtropical resort city was Russia's most popular summer destination prior to the 2014 Olympics. The $50 billion price tag of the 2014 games came as a shock, but now officials are saying the expenditures are paying off. Sochi's mountain resorts are packed in the winter months, and singing competitions, Formula One racing, poker tournaments, and festivals have all filled out the off-season calendar. The government coaxes businesses to hold their conventions and retreats there and subsidizes vacations for state employees. On a warm mid-October afternoon, I rented a ride out on the Black Sea on a powerboat skippered by Anton Romanov. This is Anton, he's the captain. Say hi to America. He told me that just a few years ago, the port would have been completely dead in October. I left behind the palm trees and persimmons of the coast for the oak and beech autumn yellows and snow-capped peaks. It was off-season up there too, but the gondola ride up to 4,500 feet was spectacular, worth the visit on its own. Russian tourists say they prefer Sochi to Europe because it's easier to get here and everything is familiar. Some hotel managers say that raising the service to international standards is the next step on Sochi's to-do list. As one said, given a choice between Sochi and Italy, people who can afford to would still choose Italy. Of course, Italy had thousands of years to become that way. Sochi just a couple. He said it'll catch up. 